want you. They want him. Tip on three. If she doesn't flip, you lose the case. They're not going to stop till they find you. This is my mess. I'm going to handle it. I did come across the photo of a police report. Yeah, and I see him. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, Episode 9. This is the What to Respect video for Episode 9, and it is based off the trailer that they put out. Now, the title of the episode is called A Last Gift, and the description of the episode reads... Tariq scrambles to get ahead of information that could incriminate the drug organization and jeopardize his family's safety. The feds double down and set their sights on a new target to aid their investigation. So those are the key elements of this next upcoming episode. It's looking real crazy. It's seeming like Tariq's going to be having some issues with the Tejada family. And it seems like Kane wants Effie to flip. And I know how these trailers, I know how they be looking. But when you see the episode... We see a complete different story. Now, I do think it will be some tensions within, you know, this whole organization. I'm talking about Tariq and the Tejada family. But I believe when it's all said and done, they will come together. And it's really just based off the episode 10 description that was also put out. And we know when it's all said and done, they will have to work together in order to beat all, you know, odds. So we're going to see how episode 9 airs. I mean, after Cooper Sacks getting uh, dropped off in Davis McLean's brother, we already know it's going to be a lot of tension within everybody. On top of that, we got Drew. He got issues with the Castillo family, which means the Tejada family. They got issues with them as well. We know Evelyn, she is not playing around. She's already warned Monet in the past. And now we're going to see the aftermath. We're going to see the consequences of Drew's actions. And to be honest, Drew, he definitely needs to step up. He got to step up, man. He got to get over all this lovey-dovey stuff. I know he's upset about what happened with Ev or whatever and what he had to do to Grotto but still he has to step up because it's no time to be all caught up in your feelings that's just my opinion you becoming a liability Drew so in these last two episodes I'm definitely expecting Drew to step up to the plate a tad bit more and you guys make sure you check out my last video I dropped the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3 Episode 8 recap so check it out if you have not seen it but let's hop right into this what to expect video. What did we see in this trailer? Now, at the beginning of the trailer, we can hear Diana talking about Sax told me to read, you know, help set me up to be arrested. So, of course, she's not trusting Tariq and you shouldn't trust anybody. Now, we know Monet is having a conversation with her telling her, like, look, find out what you need to find out because all of this could be a setup. And I'm going to tell you right now what Monet is having Diana do is going to expose her in my opinion. Now, I can be completely wrong, but we know when Diana starts digging, she finds out all types of things. And I believe she will find that foul that, of course, we know Detective Kevin Whitman in the evidence about Lorenzo being at the crime scene. I think that will be discovered. Um, now, we know the description does state that Tariq's family will be at risk as well. So maybe some information about that is going to come out. But if you go back to those uh, older trailers, like the This Season trailer, we know Diana is having a conversation with, with Kane, talking about it's Monet, she's done it again or whatever. She's pissed off at her mom. So I got a feeling she will find out what went down with Lorenzo. We already knew this was going to happen. Your girl Monet is not going to be able to hold this secret in. So when you got Diana going around snooping, trying to get you know information and evidence on Tariq, which we can see her in the trailer right here. This is actually from the, I believe, this season trailer. And we can see Diana going up under the bed and she can see the money or whatever. Now, this could be Tariq's room from the looks of it. So like I told you guys, I'm expecting Diana to dig and get some intel on Tariq. But Along her journey, she's going to find out that her mom's is not as innocent as she may seem. And the whole thing with Lorenzo should be exposed very soon. Now, also in the this season trailer, we know we can see Tariq with that strap. We know he's at Stansfield. So something major is going to happen. Now, I don't know if this is going to be in the episode that we we're about to see or maybe episode 10. But eventually we should see this. Now, let's get to your boy Kane. He got on the glasses and it's looking like he's defending Effie. He's trying to give her some advice, telling her, look, you should flip on Tariq. Like, okay. Okay. We gonna see what time it is. As I always told you guys, when Kane puts, you know, that attention on Tariq, he makes a lot of mistakes. 
and this is what he shouldn't be doing in my opinion but he wants to protect Effie as I told you guys this ain't just a hit it and quit it he actually has feelings for her this is why I'm so eager to see how this whole relationship is going to go but Effie is thinking about it and we're going to see if Effie is going to snitch or not I mean you trying to flip on Tariq I got that funny feeling all that's going to do is mess everything up because when you come at Tariq you best to be ready for those consequences so Kane Effie if you ready to do this, just remember what happened the last time that y'all tried to go at Tariq. I mean, all types of bad things happen. I mean, we can honestly say the whole thing that Tariq did with that bag, making sure Diana had it, knowing Diana would go in that bag back in season two, and it caused that huge ripple effect with Lorenzo trying to find Monet. He took out Zeke, and then what happened to Lorenzo? You see what I'm saying? A move like that is very smart and brilliant. Tariq knew Diana would go in that bag, so if Effie... And Kane believes this is the best move to happen. Like I told you guys, they have to be ready for those consequences. And seeing how Tariq is more offensive, he said he's tired of being on the defense. We're going to see in these last two episodes exactly what he's talking about. All I'm saying is this. They need to just stick together because this ain't the time to be going up against each other. And we know we can hear them talking about if she does not flip, this whole case is over. So it's going to be some major things going on in episode 9. And we see Medina, he is back as well. So what y'all think? Y'all think Effie going to flip? Y'all think she's willing to do this? If she doesn't, she has to prepare to serve some time, which I don't think is going to happen. They're going to do something. It's going to be some type of twist where she's going to be able to get out of all this mess, in my opinion. Now, Drew is having some issues with the Castillo family. As we can see in the trailer, it's looking like they're trying to get him. They're trying to catch him slipping. They know deep down inside, he has done something to their brother Gordo. He is not here anymore. So expect to see this, you know, happen in this episode. And Monet, she is telling him like, look, they going to keep coming for you or whatever. Now, we know Drew was talking about it's just a mess. He's going to clean it up. But do you honestly believe Drew's going to be able to do this all by himself? I don't think so. This man is not in the right state of mind the way he's been moving. Like I told you guys, he definitely needs to step up. I believe Kane will help him out along with the rest of his family members, but he definitely needs some help. Or maybe Drew can actually handle them this time around without slipping up. Now, we get to your boy Tariq, and in the trailer, we can hear him talking about he did come across a photo of a police report, right? And we know Davis McLean, he looks through his stuff, and he tells him, is this it? Well, we know he had that, you know, police report that Detective Kevin Whitman had, and we know Cooper Sacks. He was putting out the intel that, oh, Davis McLean has that report. So this could be a liability because Davis McLean does not want this to get out. So they're going to have to figure out a way to neutralize all this. Like I told you guys, they got a lot of different problems going on. This whole Cooper Sacks stuff, that police file with Detective Kevin Whitman that shows that, hey, Lorenzo was there at the crime scene. And most likely Lorenzo was the one that took out Zeke. I mean, this is a lot of confidential stuff that was not put out. So for him to have this... That means they're going to believe that Davis McLean could have took it or stole it or whatever. So I can't wait to see how it's all going to play out. Yes, it's looking real bad for everybody. We know Davis McLean is still grieving from what happened to his brother. And seeing how Sax is up out of here, we know law enforcement will definitely be pressing the attack to try to see what type of intel they can get on anybody. And, you know, Tariq trying to protect his family, he always wanted to be with them, Tasha and his sister. And of course, we know Grandma, she is with them as well. But if information gets out about where they're at and, you know, they can be at risk of being hurt, y'all know Tariq is not going to be playing around. He ain't. So what will Tariq do when it's all said and done? Will he really have to take out Lauren? As I told you guys, remember in the earlier trailer that they had, he said, look, I love you, but I will put a bullet in you. So is he talking to Lauren? Well, in my opinion, that's exactly who he's talking to. We shall see. But if he is, that means he has that chance to take her out. And he's not playing around. And we know Davis McLean eventually is going to tell Tariq she has to go. So I definitely cannot wait to see how that's all going to play out. But I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. We will continue to talk about Power Book 2 Go Season 3 this week. Remember, Episode 9 will not be airing next week. We're going to go on that normal break that we always get every season of power but this time around it has happened after episode eight so we're going to talk a lot about these fan theories and predictions so i want y'all to leave it all down below so we can discuss them soon but i want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support and i will catch y'all on the next one but let me get up on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out
Peace.